Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm here to plan out the week of August 24th through August 30th in my Moxie Life Vertical Planner. And I'm going to be using this kit from Christy and Designs. This is still available on her site, but I believe it was part of a $2 Tuesday a while back, and that's when I purchased it. And I didn't get the whole kit. I've talked about this before with the kits from Christy and Designs. You can get each of these sheets individually. So what I typically like to do when I'm shopping for kits on her site, this is kind of a tangent, but I will go to the the kit page and pick out the designs that I like. And then once I find a design that I like or a kit theme, I will search that kit name. You can see the name of the kit at the top and I will search that name and then it will show all the different sheets that she offers that match that particular kit. Then I will just pick the ones that match my planning style and the ones that I typically use. So I usually get this functional sheet page. It's got a bunch of half boxes and quarter boxes. I usually get a full box page. Depending on the kit, sometimes she has one that has quotes and like actual full box decorative pictures. Sometimes they're just blank like this and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with these blank ones. And then I always try to get one that's got these strips for the bottom. I think I'm gonna save the bottom for the end because I'm not so sure on spacing this week. I have a lot of things that I'm trying to get done. Normally I start with the washi at the bottom but I'm gonna come back and do that later. So the first thing I'm gonna do actually at the top is put down the workout stickers. So. Over the summer, while we've been down here in Texas, I have really been trying to figure out what time of day works best for me, and it kind of has been fluctuating all over the place. I've tried the morning, I've tried lunchtime, I've tried the evening, and this week we're going back to the morning time. Um, I have a lot of things that we need to get done this week as we prepare to head home, and so I'm gonna go ahead and get my workout done in the morning. I also am trying a new workout service they actually are gifting me a membership for a month and so i'm trying that out this week and they have great live morning classes there's one at six my time and then there's one at seven my time the seven my time is cutting it a little bit close but they're only 30 to 45 minutes so i i can do it like i can do a seven o'clock class and then be done and ready to go for work so i'm going to base it on what the class that's being offered, which one I want to do more between the six o'clock and the seven o'clock, because I also want to try out all of their classes. I want to, I want to give them all a go. So I'm going to go ahead and start with just Monday through Friday. I definitely know I don't need one for Saturday. I might put a workout sticker on Sunday, but we're going to wait until we get to Sunday. So the second thing is going to be how I spend my lunch hour. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a half box there. I actually probably could just go ahead and do a quarter box. Actually, if I wanted to save space, I was doing a half box recently because there were some days that I was working out during lunch. And so I, I needed it to be a half box so that they would all be the same width each day, but since I'm doing all that in the morning, I can just use these quarter boxes. I try, to the best of my abilities, have the size of the box relatively match the length of time that the activity takes. So a quarter box to me is like an hour, a half box is like two hours, and a full box is like four hours, but that's not always how it works out. I'm gonna start with just Monday through Thursday right now because Friday I actually don't have work. So we're gonna do Monday through Thursday because those are the days that I'm at work and then we'll get to the weekend. Okay, the next thing that I do is I usually put down a full box to mark the time that I'm at work. So I'm gonna go ahead and do these like solid color filled in ones, if that makes sense. I'm saving the ones that you can actually like write on for when I actually want to write something down. So I'm gonna do all the, the full, filled in boxes and that is gonna mark the time that I am at work. And then since they're just plain full boxes, I'm going to go in with these quote stickers from Creating & Co to basically turn them into quote stickers. So I'm gonna pick all the ones that are a little bit uh, like more vertical that kind of fit in perfectly. I really like that one. I really like this one. I've done this so many times, eventually I'm going to be out of all the ones that looked like just a, like a vertical quote, and I'm gonna have just the more like horizontal quotes. I'm gonna have to figure that out. But I, I really like, I really like these quotes. First off, if you if you've been around, you know that I am a a sucker for a good inspirational quote. Um, maybe I'll do this one. It looks like I tried to use this one before and then stuck it back down. And sometimes if you don't stick it back down perfectly, it it goes all over the place. So okay. 
Perfect, I love that. Okay, now we get into the evening times, and before I was trying to do kind of one, like one, well I was trying to work out and then do one thing in the evenings, and now I'm gonna do kind of two things because I'm not working out in the evenings, except for Tuesday. The first thing I'm gonna do is just put down this full box to mark lattes with Lakin on Tuesday, so that takes up that whole space, and then I can kind of put everything else to line it up with that full box since everything else will kind of look the same. It's basically gonna be a half box and a quarter box on each of the evenings. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do that. I'm gonna use these more rounded. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna use the rounded ones. I just, I don't know. I feel like it'll look cleaner if I just use all these rectangular ones and I have enough of them. So I'm gonna use the rectangular one there, and then I'm gonna do the quarter box, and then I'm just basically gonna repeat that on Wednesday and Thursday. Essentially each evening on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I'm trying to do one thing that's like for playing with Lakin, that's prepping us to be traveling for so long, and then I'm trying to do one thing that's like packing related or you know getting us, us ready to leave just personally. So whether that's washing sheets or towels or you know cleaning out the fridge, all those kinds of things that have to get done before we leave. So I'm kind of trying to balance between those two, between that and then all the plan with Lakin stuff that I want to get done. So that's basically what this is. The half box is the plan with Lakin thing and the quarter box is like the household type thing. Okay, so then it looks like at the bottom here, do I just want to put the strip in this space? And then I have the little space at the bottom to make any notes if I want to. There was one point during this whole situation that I was using that the line section at the bottom is kind of a journaling like what we did that day. And so maybe that's what I'll try to do again this week. I thought this was gonna take up a little bit more space. I don't know if I thought maybe I was gonna do two half boxes in the evenings, I don't know. So now let's move on to Friday. So I put down the workout sticker because I do still want to try to work out before I get to all the tasks that we have for Friday. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just put down this, this full box. And I basically have this like massive to-do list. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually put the to-do list in my weekly planner or if I'm just gonna write like, I don't know, get it done or something. And then just, man, sometimes she has like, ooh, ooh, here we go. Time to get stuff done, perfect. <laughs> That's what that basically is, is time to get stuff done. And I will have that to-do list either, it, well, for right now it's on my iPad and then it will get to my daily planner. And then the next thing that I'm gonna do is go pick up the rent car. So I'm actually gonna use this little rent car sticker cause that's perfect. And then I'm actually gonna pick up the rent car, come back to the house and pack up the car. And then we're gonna drive the first bit of our trip and then we're stopping overnight. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put this sticker down to line it up with the one on the other side and then I'm gonna put down some washi, like that looks like a road and I'm gonna, so I'm gonna have it bump into it. I think I talked about this, I think it was last week's Plan With Me or maybe the week before last, where when I'm doing like a strip of washi that marks a full length of time, I like it to bump into another sticker so that it doesn't look like it's just floating on its own. So I, I need to put this sticker down so I have something for that washi to bump into. Okay, so I have two different options. I have this one that's like kind of more of a winding road and then I have the one that's like a straight road. Yeah, I think I like the straight road better. I think I'm just nervous that I'm not going to have quite enough of it, but hopefully, hopefully it'll be fine. So Friday is just a little bit of driving. Then on Saturday, it's just all driving. Literally the entire day from morning until night. <laughs> it's literally gonna be insanely long day, but um, I feel like when you're, if you are stopping and enjoying road trips, I don't know, let me know if you agree. When you're stopping and enjoying them, yeah, I can see doing shorter days. But when you're just trying to get somewhere, like a 12 hour day and a 16 hour day, in my head, feels the same. Like, it's just, it's gonna be long, it's gonna suck no matter what. So I might as well just make it a really, really long day and get to my destination instead of having to stop multiple times 
So I'll go ahead and put this half box there, and that is day two. Then Sunday, we are at our destination, and the first thing I know we're gonna do is just sleep in. So I'm gonna put a half box sticker there to mark that. Then we need to go return the rent car. The rent car place is not going to be open on Saturday night when we arrive. We just get there too late. So that's the first thing we need to do on Sunday. And then this is where I'm torn because I kind of want to put down a workout sticker and encourage myself to do something on Sunday, especially since we will have spent, is that the right color? I am not using the right colors at all. Why did I put green here? That's not right. And then this is, this should be here. Not the right colors at all. And then this color should be here. I was like, there is something weird going on with my colors. Okay, let's try this again. And so then I'll use this one to return the car. Now back to <laughs> what we were talking about, which was putting down the workout sticker. Um, to just, again, inspire me, I guess, motivate me to go work out because like I'm not, otherwise I'm not gonna do it. Um, but the sticker being there, I'm way more likely to do it. Okay, I'm looking for another hoarder box, but I don't see one. I could use this rounded half box, but to be honest, I haven't used any rounded half boxes and I feel like it might look a little strange, but at the same time, this is rounded. Uh, I'm just gonna use a little one. So the next thing I wanna mark is unpack because I wanna make sure that we unpack. Maybe I'll do that before I work out. I will unpack here and then work out. And then I think the rest of the day is just gonna be hanging out and seeing my family for the first time in a long time. So I think I'll just put a full box here and mark family time. A little bit more space on Sunday than I intended. Maybe what I'll do, I still haven't put down the weekend sticker. So maybe what I'll do is put down the weekend sticker and have it kind of take up that space on Saturday and Sunday. Like this. And then, perfect. That sticker fits perfectly right there. Okay, so the next thing I typically do is fill in kind of all these additional stickers um, to mark things. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just actually flipping through my binder and going through it that way. So I'm gonna put sleep in on Sunday morning and then family time on Sunday evening. Okay, I grab these little um, Libby & Co. little stickers. I wish there was one that was uh, a little bit more like this color, but these are like exactly what I have to do. This like wash linens in this clean fridge. That's like almost exactly of some of the things I have to do. So I'm gonna put, but they're so almost too tiny. I don't know. Like I kind of like them, but then they're almost too, too small. And then I kind of wish this little bed didn't have the brown on it. Like I wish it was just all green so I think I'll just do this laundry sticker and write like wash all the things because I, I, I have to wash the linens I gotta wash mats I gotta wash clothes I have just a lot of things I need to wash this color really matches this day so Monday night I'm gonna put a sticker down and I'm gonna basically this is gonna sound funny but I'm gonna plan out the rest of the cleaning that needs to get done throughout the rest of the week. And then I'm gonna go search for another sticker that looks a little bit like a better color, a better color match for this day. Or I'm just gonna write in there. Hmm. This color is almost a perfect match. So maybe I will just take this out and put this sticker down instead. I'm gonna go ahead and put one of these little take out recycling stickers here. I think it's funny that I, I bought these and I used like three of them and now we're leaving and I'm not gonna live somewhere where I need to take out the recycling on a certain day because in New York, that's just not a thing that we have to do. <laughs> oh well. Okay, I can't really find a coffee cup sticker that's the right color so I'm gonna use this little silver one maybe. Mm, no, I don't like the way that that looks so maybe I'll just leave it blank and I'll just 
just write it in. You know what I could have used this extra space for on Sunday? Which I still can, I can move. The weekend sticker is dyeing my hair. That is, I am so excited to have my mom dye my hair instead of me. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So we're just gonna go ahead and plop that. Well, no, I don't really like the way that that looks, actually. I kind of liked the weekend sticker there. But I definitely need my mom to do my hair. I guess she doesn't have to do it Sunday. I guess we could do it Monday. Maybe I'll put it down here so I just don't forget that it's something that needs to be done ASAP. Now the edit and film stickers. Well, I'm doing all the filming today, so really it's just the edit stickers. But basically, with the exception of this time, which is a call and lattes with lake in all these other boxes are all editing and like do i want to put an edit sticker on every single one of these i don't think so i think it that would just look it would just be too much and since they're all edit i'm just gonna write edit on all of them um and i'm just gonna edit whatever is next to be edited it's i'm not gonna write it out now it's gonna, cause I don't, sometimes I just don't know how long things are gonna take to edit. So it just depends. I have like the order of things I need to edit based on the order that they're going up. And that's just what I'll edit next. And the goal is just to get as much of it done by, by the time that we leave. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my favorite permanent pen, which is the Micro Perm 03 on all of these Chrissy and Designs stickers. All right, it is time for our sort of last weekly check-in. If you watched the weekly vlog on Monday, there are a couple changes coming to plan with Lakin in terms of an upload schedule, and the Wednesday video going forward is going to be lattes with Lakin. So there will be no more plan with me weekly check-ins where I ask how you're doing and ask you to update us in the comments. I would love for you to continue to share how you're doing in the comments. Come hang out on Lattes with Lakin on Wednesday evenings at 6 p.m. Eastern or comment on any of the other videos or even feel free to send me a message on Instagram. I love hearing how everybody is doing. I love that we can all check in on each other with everything that's been going on. It's just, it's so crazy and so unprecedented and we could all use a little bit of extra pick me up and support during this time. All right. That is all that I have filled in for now. I do kind of want to fill out the workouts in advance, like pick which classes I'm going to take. I think I'm way more likely to do it if I pick the class in advance versus if I just call an audible in the mornings. I just know myself. Also, this looks kind of repetitive with all the editing, but this is what my week is going to look like. It's basically work, edit, and clean the house to get ready to leave and then driving. That's, that's what my week is going to entail. But by the end of it, we will be with family and it will be a nice change of scenery and something to look forward to. So that is gonna be it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much for watching. Happy planning. Match my aesthetic. Not aesthetic, that's what I meant. I'm gonna start with just Monday through Friday right now. Nope, that's not right. In a different place, not back home. That's not what I meant to say.